guys, it's the Swingman here, back with another upload. Today's hitting tip is for those guys who have the problem of our hands casting out away from us, and we're trying to figure out how we could stay inside the ball more effectively. All right, to start off, uh, first I'd just like to go over some of the issues with casting our hands. Now, basically our goal as a hitter is to make sure that this part of the barrel, which is our sweet spot, stays on plane with where that ball's coming in uh, as long as we possibly can. If we can keep our sweet spot on that same line, then we have better chances of hitting that baseball hard. If I cast my hands out away from me, if I'm slightly behind, you're gonna see that handle is gonna take the brunt of that force from that ball. Obviously, we get those stingers, no pun intended with the stinger bet. So we wanna make sure that that sweet spot stays on that line, all right? Now, if I also, if I'm casting my hands, if I could catch the ball out in front, then you'll see now that barrel starts to cross that zone again, but then it quickly leaves the zone. So if we end up getting extension on a pitch, our barrel's already leaving the zone, now we're hitting the ball off the end of the bat. So ideally, if we could keep our hands inside here to where that barrel gets on that plane, and now I could continue through, keep that sweet spot on that line, longer and we're gonna be in a better spot, uh, like I said, to make solid contact. Probably the most popular reason why our hands cast away from us is bad body positioning. If our weight transfers forward to our front side, all right, first of all, our head starts to move towards the pitch, which speeds that pitch up. So now, if, my, if I let my body come up past my halfway point here, and I've, I don't have any more built up energy in this back hit, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna fight to speed this bat up. So if I'm back here and I drifted, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull this front shoulder. If you watch what happens to my bat, it starts going away from us. So from this angle here, if I'm lunging forward and I start to fire and pull that front side, you can see that barrel start coming out away from us because this is driving my swing here. This could also be related to my front shoulders pulling out. If your front shoulders pulling out, odds are your hands are casting out. It's tough to pull that front shoulder out and keep those hands in. All right, that's just, it isn't natural. If you have a tendency to drift and you're late, the first reaction as an athlete is to try to catch up. So you put a lot of tension on this front side, boom, and pull open. Barrel comes out, then, you know, if we don't catch that ball out in front here in that small zone we have where this barrel's crossing that, that hitting zone, then we're screwed. So we're jammed or off the end if we're too far out in front. What can we do? First of all, feeling ourselves start in the middle. We gather that energy on our back side here. Okay, so I call it engaging that back hip and not just here, okay, you see my head level change? I wanna grab onto it by feeling like I sit back into that hip just slightly here, okay? Almost like I'm about to sit in a chair. That's my first motion back, boom. Once I engage that, I hold that through the whole process. So as soon as I land my front foot, I'm holding onto that side to keep myself from drifting forward. Now I could fire that backside, and if I fire this backside, you can see it's easy for me to keep my hands inside the ball and then drive through. Okay, so from this angle, I'm here. I grab onto that engagement of my back hip. Now I fire the hips, and you can see my hands are able to stay inside the pitch here. So there's no front side domination in my swing and pulling that barrel through. Now I'm driving that barrel through with my body, my hips, and I could control my hands. So that's what I would consider to be the most popular reason why guys cast their hands is because they do have more dominance on their front side and they walk away from their back hip. So they have nothing left to drive into the baseball uh, when it comes to making sure everything's working together. One of my lessons yesterday came to me and said his hands didn't feel very great. Okay, so if your hands aren't feeling good, if they feel disconnected from your body, you can't, you, you feel like you don't have much on the ball, I'm telling you, put more focus on engaging that back hip 
to allow yourself to land in a more aggressive position where everything's working together. If you leave that back hip behind, a lot of hitters, when they step with their front foot, they leave their back half behind. So their back leg almost straightens out. They're not engaged, they're not aggressive with that back hip. And right from that point, it's a fight to get our hands to the zone. And that's when your hands feel slow. You, you, know, you feel like you lost your confidence in being able to drive the ball. You're not getting that loud crack to the bat. So really, I'm telling you guys, that is such a big part of your swing and making sure the whole chain works together and allows your hands to work. So that would be my number one thing I would, I would go to when it comes to trying to prevent ourselves from casting. So some things we could do as far as upper body drills uh, to focus on keeping those hands inside. I'm a big fan of one hand drills, okay? We could choke up. Uh, if you have a metal bat, obviously you could choke yourself up um, to the top of the grip. With a wood bat, you know, you're gonna be approximately to where that grip would normally be. And basically what you're gonna do off the tee is make sure that tee's set up maybe in the middle of your stance, between the middle of your stance and towards your front foot. You don't want it out in front of your front foot. And all you're gonna do is keep that shoulder on the ball and drive to the top inner half of that ball. Just hit ground balls to the opposite infielder. All right, so if I'm hitting lefty, I'm hitting ground balls to the shortstop. Same thing with the top hand here. All right, I wanna make sure I'm not swinging it like a tennis racket. I'm not here pulling my front side open and swinging this way. Keep that front shoulder on the ball and make sure you hit that top corner uh, of the, the baseball and you're driving it, all right? Hitting ground balls, line drives. It's gonna be hit softly and accept that. It's more about the process. It's not about hitting the ball hard. If we're trying to hit the ball hard, we'd have both hands on the bat. I'm also a fan of doing that drill with no stride. So we're basically gonna keep our weight approximately in the middle, a little weight transfer back, and hit. All right, it's more about focusing on our hand positioning. After we get through our top hand drills though, and you feel good, we're going right into two hands. And I'm just repeating the same drill. Okay, I'm thinking of doing one hand drills, but now both hands are on the bat, so I'm having the same concept of top inner half of the baseball and driving that ball hard uh, to the opposite infielder. So this is a great way to train ourselves and how our hands should work, okay? And it, it may seem cliche, your coaches may tell you, you know, start your first round opposite field. Uh, for those of you that don't, don't understand why, it's all because of bat path, all right? If we could work consistently opposite field, um, I like to use opposite field gap, not the line, the gap. All right, if you could consistently do that in your first couple of rounds of batting practice, whether it's one hand or two hands, uh, then you're gonna keep that barrel on path. So now when you start working inside, we're not casting around and yanking the pitch. We could do that in batting practice rounds and get away with it, but when it comes to a game time situation, you have to catch up on a fastball. Um, it's really tough to make solid contact if you're casting your hands. I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, I'm going to provide some clips here too, uh, just so you can see my hands working in live game swings. But if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I have surpassed the last hurdle when it comes to being able to monetize these videos. And it has been a gold mine is to create a, a monetized channel. So thank you guys very much for the continued support. My Instagram channel keeps getting bigger and bigger and um, I'm hoping to keep growing this YouTube channel as much as possible. My uploads have been, you know, kind of random here and there. I've been very busy between the baseball and also uh, my normal day job. So I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can for you guys. My next upload I plan on doing is a workout upload. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and stay posted with my latest content. Thanks for watching.